principle. The principle of a thermometer is that two bodies in contact and in thermal equilibrium always have the same temperature. Every thermometer is based on a physical property that changes with temperature. All properties of material objects except mass change with change in temperature. Hence, we have many possible kinds of thermometers. Kelvin's thermodynamic scale of temperature does not depend on any physical property of a substance. The thermometer involves three different steps. Step number one, construction. In constructing a thermometer, the variation in physical property of a substance is used. For example, in mercury thermometer, the principle of expansion of mercury is used. Whereas, in a resistance thermometer, the variation in resistance with temperature is used. Which property is to be selected? That depends upon the range of temperature to be used. Second step, calibration. Next step is to mark two standard degrees of hotness called fixed points. This is called calibrating a thermometer. Melting point of ice, boiling point of water, melting point of silver, melting point of gold, etc. taken as fixed points. Next, the scales are made by dividing the interval between the two fixed points into equal parts. For example, the Celsius scale was made by dividing the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water into 100 equal parts. Each part is called 1 degree Celsius. Similarly, for other scales. Third step, sensitiveness. A thermometer is said to be sensitive if it measures the temperature of a body with which it is in contact quickly. A thermometer is said to be sensitive if it shows even small variations in temperature. A thermometer is said to be sensitive if it does not absorb large amount of heat from the given body for its own heating. For calibrating a thermometer, we should know about the lower fixed point and upper fixed point. This is an experimental setup to fix the lower fixed point. For fixing the lower fixed point, the unmarked thermometer is placed in a funnel surrounded by ice. The bulb of the thermometer should be completely immersed in the ice. Mercury starts contracting and when its level becomes stationary, a permanent mark of 0 degree Celsius is made on the stem. This is an experimental setup to fix the upper fixed point. The thermometer is kept such that it is not touching the boiling water, but is surrounded by steam. The excess steam goes out through an opening O. A manometer M is used to measure the pressure of steam. Make sure that the pressure of the steam inside is the same as the normal atmospheric pressure. Mercury in the thermometer expands and rises in the capillary. When the mercury level becomes stationary, a mark of 100 degrees Celsius is made on the stem of thermometer. There are two different scales in thermometry. One is Celsius scale and another one is Fahrenheit scale. So, this is the formula relating Celsius and Fahrenheit. So, it is given by the relation C by 100 equal to F minus 32 by 180. So, by using this formula, we can convert any temperature from one scale into the other. 